Welcome back everyone, it is Captain Cowboy here with another Ultimate Alliance campaign video from 25 decades ago. And here we have a Kingdom 39 Murphy. And well, Murphy has some troops that need to die. But more that on that later. So let's go ahead and discover what we can do over here. So I was talking back and forth with Murphy and Murphy goes, hey cat, Put me on your YouTube. Well, you ask, I shall deliver. So, we'll go over here. Let's go ahead and destroy Murphy and his 96 million power. I don't really know what his stats are like, but this man is smart. He's sending those troops out. He knows I can't take his resources, so protect the troops at all costs. He could do that. He could also launch war rallies against some enemies. However, there's nowhere nearby. He's got 24 seconds. It's not a whole lot of time to react. He did the right move. Now he's got all this time to build. He's got a minute full of march uh, going and recalling. And more than that, he is getting on the YouTube. So, Murphy, welcome. You've got beautiful Jeeps. I just want to tell you that right now. I like them a lot. Um, well, Jeep. But here... He's got his encampments out. He's got time now. I could easily launch an attack. He has time to react. And that's another 30 seconds that he has of moving. But I'm not interested in doing that. I don't actually want him to go around and not have some time to do anything. But let's go ahead and scout them for fun. So we're going to send some troops out. And here's what his troops are looking like. Murphy, your march capacity is looking a little low. What are you doing, buddy? Do you have more troops out? I don't think those troops really add up to 96 million power, so I think he's got some troops somewhere around here. But, even better, I got myself destroyed when I logged off by Bin Diesel. So, this man, I logged in, I poured over to Kingdom 39, and then I log off, and I get destroyed by Bin Diesel. Absolutely demolished. I survived way too long. I don't understand this whatsoever. This man throwing 40 million marches at me and just losing all of them, just trying to knock me down. And, I mean, after the first 10 marches and after self zeroing himself a couple times over, he finally was able to do so. I was just shocked at how long I managed to survive. Very impressed with my performance. I felt like a new man all over again. I liked it a lot. Um, But yeah, I mean... Ultimate Alliance campaign gives those people that opportunity. You can have a C-19 that could zero a C-30 if they wanted to. It's going to take you a very, very, very long time. So it's going to require you having a lot of gold and that kingdom, that city 30, just allowing you to do that without even healing themselves. So if you meet a C-30 and you're like, hey, I want to see how weak I am, let me zero you. Just do not heal your troops and just march them for maybe like 50 marches and then you'll finally zero them and it'll make you feel like you're on top of the world so yeah ultimate alliance campaign love it and hate it it's a lot of work no reward and i end up spending way too much gold um so I mean, it, it, it's like a love-hate relationship. It's a lot of fun because you're able to do stuff like what I just mentioned. But at the same time, it stresses me out. Not stress. It doesn't stress me out. It just makes me frustrated with my own alliance, with other alliances, and with Guns of Glory in general. But thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed that video. And more to come from Ultimate Alliance Campaign.